the fisherman who pretended to be a holy man. One dark night, a fisherman stole into a private garden. The house is dark and quiet. Everyone seems to be asleep. Good. I can cast my net right away and catch enough fish for the week. But even as the net was cast, what was that sound? Did you hear it? I did. It sounded like a net falling into the water. A net in the water, in the pond. My fish. Somebody stealing my fish. Thief! 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 The owner woke up his servants. Quick! It's a thief catching. Outside the house. They are awake. They are coming this way. I am trapped. What shall I do? As he looked desperately about, something caught his eye. A smoldering bonfire. Fate could not have been kinder. He pulled off his turban and smeared some ash on his arms and forehead. I hope this disguise works. Look, can you see a man there? Ho oh, oh, ho! It's a sannyasi. Forgive us, sir. And the servants continued their search. After a while, they came back to their master. Well, what happened? Have you found him? No luck, sir. He escaped, but we saw a holy man in the garden. A holy man in my garden? Take me to him. There he is. Ush! He must be a great saint. We must not disturb him. He is meditating. Let's go away. It must be the master of the house. I have fooled even the master of the house. Now, aren't I clever? At dawn the next day. It's time I left. Hey, who are these people? Oh, holy saint, we heard of you and have come to seek your blessings. Please bless our child. Er, uh, as as. Good God, more and more of them. Flowers, sweets, a silver bowl. Are they mad? And to crown it all, the look of utter devotion in their eyes. How strange! I am not a real sadhu, and yet these people show so much respect for me. How much greater would be the respect they would show if I were a real sadhu? Yes, I shall become a true man of God. I shall give up thieving for good. And so the thief who began by pretending to be holy truly became so.